Hey guys, today I'm going to let you in on a little secret about Yellowstone National Park. This has been called the best kept secret in the park. The next time you go to Yellowstone, you need to pack your swimsuit. Yes, there are hot springs in Yellowstone in which you can actually bathe without being boiled alive. Now, most of the hot springs in Yellowstone are basically sulfuric cauldrons that would kill you quickly in the most painful way imaginable. But there is one place in Yellowstone where you can actually get into a river and swim around and bathe and enjoy warm waters that are produced naturally from the earth. Now, the name of the river is the Gardner River and the name of the hot springs is the Boiling River. These hot springs are located in the north of the park, north of Mammoth Hot Springs. If you know where the Mammoth Hot Springs campground is, you pull out of the campground, turn left, and the hot springs are down the road roughly about a mile on your right. The parking area is really too small to bring any kind of sizable RV. You could get by with a camper van or something like that, but I wouldn't bring a big rig down there by any means. But what you're gonna have to do is probably have your swimsuit already on and be ready to go when you arrive in the parking lot. At this location, there is a restroom that's basically a large vault toilet. There is not a quote unquote dressing room. If changing in a bathroom doesn't appeal to you, then I suggest you come already dressed. The actual hot springs area is a short walk from the parking lot. It's probably a third of a mile to half a mile. And then eventually you will arrive at the official recreational spot where you can actually get in the Gardner River and enjoy the natural hot springs. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind. First of all, the boiling river is boiling hot and it will scald you. So the hot waters there are not to be taken lightly. And what you will discover is that the Gardner River is usually icy cold and into it is flowing the piping, scalding hot water from the boiling river. This is not necessarily a typical visit to the local spa, okay? It's very natural and there will be some areas in the river that are very hot, uncomfortably so. And there will be other areas that are freezing cold. So the trick is to find the middle ground, of course, and find sort of the perfect hot spot that's comfortable for you. As far as getting in the water, I would suggest you bring some sort of shoes that you can wear into the water, just because the bottom of the riverbed is very rocky. There's some really sharp, pointy rocks. And so if you want to be able to walk down to where the little hot spots really are, then I think shoes that you can wear in the water are very helpful. Be very, very careful about those boiling waters. I wanna emphasize this for any families with children. You need to keep an eye on your kids around these waters. Yellowstone is actually a very dangerous place. And there have been people who have died in the most horrible ways imaginable. So I really try and emphasize the importance of safety when you're going into Yellowstone Park. Just a reminder, don't put your head underwater because these uh, hot springs do have natural like microorganisms in them and they can cause you to get sick if you get them in your ears or in your mouth. But I thought you should know about this secret hot springs area because Chrissy and I have very much enjoyed visiting it. It's something that all of the park employees know about and the rules are you're really not supposed to be down there after dark. You need to go to the hot springs during daytime. Back when I was working in the park, a couple of park employees, male and female, went down there and went skinny dipping and rumor had it the rangers made them climb out of the river start naked and get dressed under the gaze of their flashlights. So don't let that happen to you. Don't go skinny dipping down there after dark, but do go during the day because it's gotta be one of the most unique experiences that you can have in Yellowstone National Park. So that's it for today, guys. I'm Sean with Loloho with a little quick tip about Yellowstone National Park the best kept secret in the park. Now the secret's out. Hope to see you down there, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, 
don't forget to subscribe. Okay, it just got a lot colder. Uh.